is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Saturday. That means it's May I Scrap Lift You, as well as it is off the board. So this particular layout I had pinned on my scrapbook pages board. It is done by Heather Guy, and I will link her down below because I know her personally because we got to be on the Paper Issues design team together for a term which was super awesome. I absolutely love her. She She's amazing, and she does amazing scrapbook layouts as well. So I am digging deep into my stash for this layout. Um, this is Switchboard from Pink Paisley, and I think that I showed you it's from 2008. So um, it's it's a little old. It may be 2004. <gasps> I'm, I'm going to find now because it was one or the It was either four or eight because those are the years that my <laughs> Kids were born. I was like, wow, this is as old as one of my kids. Um, 2008. Okay. So as old as my youngest kid. So I pulled a couple of papers out. Um, one of them I'm actually going to use as a piece of white cardstock. So I have plenty of white cardstock, but there are so many pieces of paper that I have in project pads or paper pads that I'm just probably never going to use. Like this one is like an old um, like address book. So name, telephone number, email address, and they're just little boxes, which you could totally cut up and use for, for like journaling spots. It would work. But you know, with paper pads, you get two to three papers. So I decided that I was going to use the back of it instead of using one of my pieces of cardstock. So I'm going to cut some triangles. Well, I'm going to tear some triangles like Heather did. Um, so I decide on this red and navy stripe as well as this red um, paper that says hello and hi. And so what I did was I glued the two papers together. That way I knew exactly where I needed to tear that second layer. And then I was trying to decide if I cared if my stripes went in the same direction. And ultimately I decide, nope, I, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you can see that my triangle up there in the corner, the stripes are going in a different direction, and that is totally fine. Um, I, I'm totally good with that. So I'm not sure if she actually tore her papers or she just roughed up her edges, but I do love a torn paper. So I am gonna do some stenciling and a little mixed media on the back of this because Heather is really good at that. Now, I went through my stencils and I pulled out this one. I think this is actually a Teresa Collins stencil, super old. Um, and I am gonna use some, I think it, I think the oxide is faded, faded jeans, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just using a blending brush and pushing it through. I want to get some mixed media at the top and bottom of this triangle as well as on the um, top of the bottom triangle as well. So you can kind of see that I'm, I'm doing a little bit of that. And then I grab this package that has die cuts in it from somewhere, but added a little bit of that ink and I'm going to add a little bit of water to it with a paintbrush and I'm going to do some small splatters and then I'm going to get a little messy and I am going to actually grab that <laughs> um, paintbrush with my fingers and squeeze big drops out and those are some pretty good big drops, I have to say. I I am always like super happy when I can make some big drops. Now I'm just gonna soak it up a little bit just because I really don't wanna wait. Um, 
And I use a tea towel um, to, to soak up and clean brushes and wipe off stencils and, and just about everything. And they're fairly inexpensive. You can usually buy them in packs. This one, this one actually is kind of fun. It has a pineapple on it. I'm not really sure where I got it from, but I do have an addiction to tea towels. Um, I like when they say funny things too. <laughs> so, um, I have a ton of them in my kitchen, except for it really irritates me when my family thinks that the towels are like paper towels. Like they, like my husband will have like, I don't know, like barbecue sauce on his hand and he'll wipe it on my towel. That's, that's not what towels are for. Towels are for after you wash your hands. And it's just to dry them off. I just don't understand. Does your family do that? Because my family is notorious for that. So I have two pictures just like she does. My pictures are a little bit bigger because um, there wasn't quite as much uh, space that I wanted to cut off. So this is photos of my son and his friend um, back in... 2020? 20, no. This has got, I don't know. This is when Trump was running for president the first time. <laughs> so um, he actually came to our town and um, we thought it would be a fun experience to for the kids to go see a rally um, and they had a great time. It was not a crazy rally or anything that you hear about. Um, and and it was super cool because they got to say that they got to see the president before he was president. So um, I'm going to map both those photos in two other papers from the paper pad. And I'm going to do some full mats. And then I'm going to layer them on top of each other a little bit more than she did. Um, again, because you know, my pictures are bigger and um, they're sitting in um, our event center. And so there's just a bunch of like people's tops of people's heads there. So I thought it was fine to cover those up. And then I am going to start doing some embellishing. So like I said, I really dug into my stash. I have been playing with kits and collections. And I have to say that that kind of is how I scrapbook now, um, which, which I love going through my things. Um, but, but I, it sometimes it's just easier, especially when you're doing 30 days of something to just grab a collection and make a scrapbook layout. But for this particular, these particular photos, I just didn't really have anything that I felt like worked as a collection. So I'm going to kind of stick with the red and blue theme. So I've got some pink fresh here. I've got some freckled fawn. Um, one sticker, two stickers came from a Heidi Swap sticker sheet. Um, so these are some pink fresh labels. Uh, these chipboard pieces, those are all from a freckled fawn collection that is actually a fall collection. Um, but I'm going to use those. And then um, I'm going to add, these are from Chamel. And I've used most of the words. I just have like the stars and the dots left. I, think I have two words on there which I would love to use up um, but doesn't quite make it on this layout so but I do get a couple of stars and a couple of the dot circles which is good and then I'm gonna go off screen maybe not so I have a black thickers pack that is almost done and so I am going to try to use something from this. 
Um, first, I am going to grab the thicker that says Inspire, which I tore apart, but it really didn't, the size was off, mainly. I, I just couldn't get it to work. Not, I mean, it looks okay down there, but it's, it's not great. So I'm going to put it back and then off screen, I'm going to grab the high and the U. So my title is going to be Hi You, <laughs> um, and you can see there it is all done. So I hope you enjoyed this process video. Um, make sure you check out everybody who is listed down below for May I Scrap Lift You and Off the Board, and go give Heather some love. I apologize, it is stormy here, and so my photos are a little dark. So that's it. Remember to wear your crown, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!